President Biden. He's he's played by Phil Hartman uh, from the desk at the Oval Office. Okay, so Phil Hartman says, my fellow Americans, just this past week, the statue of Thomas Jefferson was removed from New York City Hall. Come on, man. Come on, man. And because of that, kids can feel the hair on my legs. Danger field is Trump. Cut. Jesus, Joe. How long do you even do this job anyway? I have no idea how you beat me. Hotman. Come on, man. It's funny you should bring that up. So across the Pacific danger field goes, Jesus, Joe. I said that rhetorically. We got bigger fish to fry here. Richard Pryor as Obama says, that's right. We most certainly do. Once we are able to sully that Uncle Tom, Jefferson's good name, we will all move up in the all-time presidential rankings. Ted Knight is Bush. Mission accomplished. Robin Williams is Clinton. George, buddy, you can't even put on a poncho. Don't jinx us with that slogan of yours. It's not time yet. George Burns is Carter. Does anyone know how it's not been my time yet? I have to wear diapers, and I don't know my name anymore. Dangerfield. Pipe down, Carter. Hey, Barry, why don't you be a good Negro and put Jimmy to bed? Pryor steps up on Dangerfield and says, Now listen here, Trumple Stillskin. I ain't anybody's Negro, unless you pay me. And you, Orangey, are going to have to pay up for that. Williams, Donnie, don't have that kind of, Donnie don't have that kind of money no more. He ain't going to be able to afford to have Barry be his house Negro. Hartman, come on, man, gentlemen, enough. Man, come on, man, man. Now, if we can't work together, we aren't ever going to be able to have our legs felt up in swimming pools. Okay, and then it's going to cut to the spirits of the other ex-presidents listening in. Leslie Nielsen is, is, wa is Washington. My word, these bumbling fools. How on earth did that man become president? Ed Asner is John Adams. George, I've been telling you to watch that my pillow doc. Okay, just because the CEO is slightly overweight doesn't mean you can't take him seriously, right? The seven, you know, the seven spiritual presidents laugh as they gaze upon Asner's portliness. And Asner's John Adams says, fuck you guys. We got to save Tommy's good name. And then George Kennedy, as, as James Madison, says, John. Since when do you care about Jefferson's good name? And then John Ritter is James Monroe. Are you okay, Madison? You look heavy and red, much redder than usual. Are you taking the big game James nickname too far? Then Rickles, Don Rickles is, J is John Quincy Adams. Chiqua! Chiquah! Funkhauser scene is Andrew Jackson sniffling. Oh, excuse me. I have to wipe this trail of tears I have here. Uh, what the hell is with Quincy Adams? Jack Warden is Martin Van Buren. Grabs Funkhauser scene by the balls. Listen, action, Jackson. Chuck Quincy, Chiquah hears voices, okay? He no longer speaks in full sentences. He just yells, Chiqua. Nielsen, gentlemen, please. What are we going to do to stop these nefarious men? Asner, I guess cross the Potomac or whatever. That worked for you, right, big guy? Kennedy, let's just go get a drink. Ritter, oh, for God's sake, just tell them they'll get a lucrative book deal if they leave him alone. Rickles, Chiqua. Chiqua! Funkhauser steam shrugs. Walks over to Hartman, sitting at the presidential chair, and whispers in his ear, Hartman, oh, come on, man, holy cow! That's it! We can make some money on that! 
Come on, boys, there's a book deal to be had. Ted Knight, what's a book? Dangerfield, what the, what the hell are you talking about, Joe? Pryor, yeah. What Orange Man Bad said. What are you talking about with a book deal? Hartman, come on, man. What I mean is, tape from Tom's phone... We're not alive! It's Saturday Not Live! Starring Louis Anderson, Ed Esner, F. Lee Bailey, Lucille Ball, John Belushi, George Burns, John Candy, George Garlin, Johnny Carson, John Cazell, Johnny Cochran, Rodney Dangerfield, Tom Davis, Chris Farley, Bob Funkhauserstein, Greg Geraldo, Hill Hartman, Bobby the Brain Heenan, Buck Henry, Bill Hicks, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Chan Hawks, George Kennedy, Ted Knight, Norm McDonald, Ed McMahon, Paul Mooney, Mary Tyler Moore, Brittany Murphy, Leslie Nielsen, Michael O'Donohue, Luke Perry, Richard Pryor, Gilda Radner, Harold Ramis, Carl Reiner, Don Rickles, Joan Rivers, John Ritter, Charlie Rocket, Larry Sanders, Tom Snyder, Jerry Stiller, Rip George. Danitra Vance, Jack Warden, Adam West, Gene Wilder, Robin Williams, Fred Willard, musical guest, Michael Jackson, and your host, Thomas Jefferson. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Jefferson! <laughs> That'd be clapping. People clap. It's Jefferson. Well, maybe not in New York. But this is my mind. They'd be, they'd be clapping. Okay. And then, uh, give me, it, it, it was his thing. Well, there'd be so much clapping. It would give me a little bit to find his thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hello. It's a great honor and a privilege to be here hosting the inaugural Saturday Not Live. <clears throat> when Mr. Murphy asked me to host, I told him, so long as it's not at City Hall. I'm not welcome there anymore, as you may have heard. Quite frankly, the circumstances aforesaid have generated their forthcoming in the broadcast disclosures has effectuated myself with momentous melancholy. And then uh, Belushi comes out. Uh, M Mr. Jefferson. Oh, it's John Belushi, everybody. Uh, actually, it's Jane. Oh, oh, very well. Or um, Jane Belushi, everybody. So, so what seems to be the problem? I, I, I no understand what you say. I beg your pardon. Then Chris Farley comes out dressed in a dress. Oh, oh, my word, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chris Farley. It's Christina. Christina Farley. Oh, oh, yes, of course.
course. I apologize. As I'm sure you're well aware, hitherto individuals of mismasculine sexual attributes persisted as, and partly dumbfounded, just yelled, Talk dumber! And then uh, Jane goes, and, and more PC. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Point well received. Thank you. Thank you, lady, ladies. <clears throat> I, I, I should have done more. But to be fair, I did do a lot of good. If I do say so myself, albeit a bit more simply than usual. Anywho, we have a great show tonight. Michael Jackson is here. And, I may add, he is here under his own accord. He is free to leave whenever he wants. There is no unlawful restraint. Although, like slaves, he's not getting paid. Okay, we'll be right back. 